Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, we're working on Jason's Dakota RT. So we got the tune from Flying Ryan. So we're gonna go ahead and load that. And right now, just so you guys know, it was still, we started it up and got it running on just the factory programming and tune. Um, so Ryan sent over that file. So we're gonna load it up with HP tuners and we'll see how she runs and see what else we get into today. We got this guy back here. He's got no cast no on cast. his foot <laughs> for his little girl toes. And check out my shirt. Check out his shirt. Nodger Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, so he's got his own stuff too. So he's finally got his own merch. Go check out his channel. We got Jason over here. He's ready to get this thing running and we'll see how far we get today. So uh, first things first, we got uh, power on the vehicle. We're gonna plug in our MPVI2 to the OBD2 port. We got HP tuners running on the laptop. We've got Ryan's file up on here and uh, I'll show you guys that whole process. Okay, so MPVI2 is plugged in to the OBD2 port. USB is plugged into the car or USB is plugged into the computer. Uh, so I have the file open here and what we're gonna do is click that little chip with the red arrow and we're gonna have to license the file. So this is the first time we're doing it. So it's gonna ask us, see, show license options. And it's gonna say that we need to use a one credit, available credits too, so we have them. So we're gonna license this, and this is a one-time shot. There we go, are you sure you wanna use the credits? We're gonna say yes. Boom, and now we're gonna go ahead and click right. So just so I can explain what we just did there, if you guys don't have credits, you'll have to buy them from HP Tuners, and each vehicle and different modules take a certain number of credits. Um, so once it's licensed and the file's licensed, you can write to this vehicle any as many times as you want, but you do have to license it. Okay, so with the ignition turned on, and once we click right, it's gonna say to turn the ignition off, so we're going to cycle the key, one, two, three, turn it back on, and we're going to click OK. And here we go. So this process is going to take about three to five minutes, so just let it do its thing, and then uh, we'll come back once it's done. Okay, so it says completed, we're going to hit close, and we can go ahead and start the vehicle and see how she runs now. Alright guys, so it's a little bit later on in the day and Ryan actually got us a revision back a lot sooner than we were even ready for. Uh, so he sent us back a re review on the tune and I'll tell you exactly what he said. Pulled a F-K-T-O-N of fuel out. So <laughs> that's his response back to me. So let's go ahead and we'll open up his file and we'll try it out. So let me get that open and then we'll load it up. All right, so I have that file open in our VCM suite. You guys already know the deal by now. We've got the MPVI2 plugged in. I'm gonna get my USB cord plugged into the laptop. We're gonna turn the ignition to the run position. And we'll go over here, plug in our USB. We'll get to work. Okay, so that's all connected. You guys already know the deal, so we're gonna click the little chip with the red arrow. We're gonna hit right. 
Then we're gonna be prompted, same as before, to turn the ignition off, wait three seconds. One, two, three. Turn it back to the run position. Then we're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna let it do its thing. Okay guys, so it says write complete, so we're gonna cycle the ignition. We'll turn it off. And then we can go ahead and start it. So I'm gonna get the data logging again. So I'll open up my VCM scanner. We're gonna hit the little car here so that it connects to the vehicle. And we can start it up. We'll do a bit of data logging again and see if he pulled out enough fuel for us. All right guys, so we got VCM scanner ready to go. It's connected to the vehicle. We'll hit record once it warms up a little bit, but we'll go ahead and start this girl. Okay guys, so it's actually another day later, so uh, we can't expect Ryan to get us that many revisions all in one day, So, but he did get it back to us very quickly, and I've got a third revision probably to take some more fuel again. So it's kind of just the name of the game, the fact that we put a larger fuel pump in there, this thing is getting a ton of fuel, which isn't a bad thing, we just have to adjust accordingly. So uh, you guys already definitely know the deal at this point, I think it's the third time we've done this in this video. So we've got it plugged in, the MPVI 2. We're gonna turn the ignition to the run position, but not started. Go over here, we've opened up the new tune file. We're gonna hit the red arrowed chip so that we can write to the vehicle. Click right, it's gonna tell us to turn off the ignition in just a second. And once that prompt comes up, we'll turn it off. So there we go, turn vehicle ignition off and wait three seconds. One, two, three. Turn it back to the run position. We're gonna go over here, hit okay, wait three to five minutes, let it write, and then we'll see how she runs. All right, so it's done writing, and you can't just go ahead and start it, you have to cycle the ignition, just so you guys know. So we're gonna turn it off, and then we can actually start the vehicle. Now we'll do some data logging as well in the VCM scanner. So here's the VCM scanner, Go ahead and connect to the vehicle, which is a little car. Let it do its thing, and then we can hit the red record button. Okay, so we're pulling a lot less fuel. Um, I guess bank one is only pulling about 15%. It's still gonna get up to temperature, but 15% on bank one, pretty much 0% on bank two. So we're a lot within its margins for it to be able to correct itself. So we're doing a lot better now.
much up to temperature. We're at 156 or 58 degrees Fahrenheit, cool temperature. So, and it's only pulling about 11% of fuel on bank one, uh, fluctuating about 10% and about three, 4% on bank two. So a lot within the range that's acceptable. So we'll go ahead and fire this back to Ryan. And uh, we're pretty good at this point, at least for idle, uh, until we start getting uh, driving on this thing. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. So we're making some definite progress on this thing. We still got a bunch of other stuff to kind of conclude. As you guys can see, we have some different wheels and we actually raised the front end of the truck. So the Viper wheels have been removed and I think we're gonna try these on my Dakota RT. So that should be pretty cool. I'm kind of excited to see how those are gonna look on the blue truck. So uh, once we finish doing the rear suspension on his, uh, we're gonna put the 20s on the back once we raise it. Cause right now those 20s won't even fit with his vehicle being all framed out. The tune is pretty dialed in and we also have a lot of content coming for you guys. As you guys can probably see, I did run out and buy a welder. So I got a good deal on this welder. We've got the Argon tank and I've got a nice Eastwood MIG. So this is gonna allow us to do some cool stuff in the future here. So uh, I'm pretty excited you guys. Uh, like I said, it's just a kind of a novice welder, but it is a good welder. Uh, that MIG 135, I can plug it into a regular outlet and it'll weld thick enough stuff for what we're gonna do for now on the channel. So technically we could start fabbing some stuff if we wanna get into some crazy builds, we can start fabbing some stuff with a legit welder with gas and get everything rolling. So I'm excited, a lot on the way. Make sure you guys share these videos with your friends, you guys, um, or anywhere you wanna share them. It does help support the channel and help the channel to grow. The more people that know about it, the more people that we can get on this channel and uh, we can keep going with bigger, better projects. Thanks for watching, see you guys on the next video.